Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday night. Welcome, everybody, to hello, yeah, that's friends. Disney Night Live. Hello. Hello. hello, friends. Welcome. Cheers. 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 Chindans. Chindans. That's all. Yeah. Is that a Red Bull, Aaron? Um, nor. Oh, okay, okay. It's it's a Michelin. <laughs> oh, nice. And my Reba oh. koozie. I'm obsessed. It's like, it. wow, you need a lot of energy for this show, don't you? Chugging a Red no, Bull. No, you got to bring the energy. Yeah. This is my uh, fourth beer of the day. Sweet. You got something wrong with that? It's a Saturday. Nope. Mm-hmm. Not at all. I have um, my first libation. Vino. Oh, a little bit of wine. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of wine. And I also have um, my next cocktail will be some Nocello. Do you guys know what Nocello is? It sounds like something you drink when you go to bed in the noche. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I have no clue. So it is a walnut liqueur, an Italian liqueur. Okay. It's delicious. Delicious. Yeah. It is absolutely delicious. Kind of warm, kind of sweet. Get yourself some. Tell me, Don. I was going to say a little uh, Zambuca. A little Zambuca. I don't drink that anymore. I had a rough night many moons ago at a party. Um, somebody uh, either put Zambuca in my beer or I grabbed somebody's beer that they had mixed oh with Zambuca, God. chugged it, and spent the rest of the night getting very sick. So we don't Ooh. do but the Zambuca. Zambuca. Hey. That's how much that's how much Sambuca you're supposed to drink out of it. You know, just it's a little <laughs> the, the smell of some liquors remind little, you of the time you almost died. I was about to say that we all have that right. one liquor. That's it for me. I can't yeah. do it anymore. None. None whatsoever. Yeah. I'm obviously allergic to to uh tequila. Because oh. after you know, if I drink half a bottle of it, it makes me throw up. Yeah. A half a bottle, definitely. <laughs> no, I've been uh, I've been reacquainted with my old friend Midori, and uh, it has been oh yeah beautiful. Oh, I've not seen yeah, that in years upon it's years. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, it ha it it has been a while for me as well. I'm gonna turn off Facebook notifications. How do I do that? Turn off all notifications. There we go. Turn them off. Bam. This so, way I won't get interrupted during the show. Happy Saturday, everybody. I had an interesting couple last days at work. Ooh. Do you tell? Do you tell? Yeah. Uh, I was informed yesterday that um, they were going to be remove, uh, doing a reset in my area, and I would be losing my desk. Um, they were going to demo the desk and make a new desk. So you're getting a new desk, oh, or you're not? Are you losing a desk? We are losing one. We have two desks right now. Three oh. workstations. We're losing one desk and having getting only two workstations back gotcha losing one desk and half a person well we only had two people you know oh. we never had you know we only have two sales specialists that work that department right so i don't see you know having a third workstation was a waste um well, but at least you'll have a chair yeah, tell me maybe not <laughs> not the chair. Not the no chair. chair. <laughs> no, maybe not. Because if if we sit at the desk and the customers can't see us, and True. they can't ask, they can't ask us where the restroom is. Hello to everybody tuning in. Uh, I see Mary Waldner is watching uh, our our awesome loved one friend and wife of Disney Don Marie is here. My old neighbor and my still friend. And Disney um, friend um, Kevin is is here. I see Valerie is here. Um, Valerie, uh, please wish James a happy belated birthday. Lily Johns, I'm looking at the comments. And we've got people joined in on Instagram Live over here. I see three people there. Hello to the folks on Instagram Live. Hello to you, and thanks for tuning in. This is really cool. I see my brother is watching from there. There's some other folks. Um, we're live. We're now that's Disney's oh, Disney Night Live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're live on Check Instagram. My, I finally have it. This, this is us. Right? How, do, how do I share it? I haven't figured that me. out yet. So if you go to the top of your feed and look for 
um, the now that's Disney Instagram, it'll show it like kind of like um, breathing a little bit because we're live. It's like, yeah, the right. Living exactly. breath. It is. They'll get, there you go. <laughs> of, the, of the internet. Of that's the right. interwebs on social media. The famous interwebs. It's the pulse of the interweb. Uh huh. Yeah. Where do I share it? Who am I sharing it to? Oh, this is a See, I can't world. figure that out. It's trying like, to I'm all like, oh man, no, no, Help I'm like, out. everybody's doing like, it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna add everybody on now that's Disney too, because they love when I do that. Add everybody. We're live. Boom. We are live. Come join us. Boom. Yeah. Come on. Boom. Come Boom. and join the fun, guys. We really are fun. We don't bite. Wow. It it's I not love entirely it. true. This is a party. It's Saturday. Hi, Jody. It's uh it's it's <laughs> it's um uh it's it's a party. It's every Saturday, 8 p.m. We come to you. We we bring you and Disney stuff, but we also bring you fun and yeah. um and us great looking people, uh, a lot of lot of uh laughs, a lot of um you know information just hanging out tonight, right? Yeah, just no Kim tonight. Uh, Becky and Mike had to take the night off. I am sorry to hear they have some water in their basement. So um, here on the East Coast, we've been getting pounded with um, rain. And uh, it just rained so much so quickly that we have floods in a lot of different places. So um, best of luck to uh, to our friends and Ohana, Becky mm -hmm. and Mike, yeah. and the Lenko family. Um, but we're here. We're going to be talking about many different Disney topics. Um, we're going to be talking about park hopping and good to go day uh, announcements. We're going to be talking about festival of arts. Um, we're going to be talking about farts. The, uh, the farts. The Mandalorian movie has been announced. We have um, how excited was Kim? Uh, country bears about farts. Extreme. No, about, about Mando. Um, she didn't show that much enthusiasm. I don't know what's going on with her these days. Yeah. I don't even know if she's she loves, if she's she watching. loves her baby man. She loves her baby Yoda. I know. I don't even. She didn't like seem too excited over Kim. Tell us in the comments what you feel about that. Look at him up here. Check him out. Look at the sexy water. You guys can see him. He's Mando's right. helmet. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, it's all. Awesome. They're awesome. Yeah. Kim, are you are you still with us? Or did you stop watching us already? She's had enough she of this left. show. And she she left. Like I'm done. She, you know what, Dave? She has left you with your babysitters, and she's going to go Ooh. have an hour to herself. Yeah. She needs a babysitter. She needs one. But, um, yeah, we're I, live all I, over the place. Share us out. Kim and I need to go drinking and then go shopping. I think this is Why don't I need idea. to go drinking? How come I can't drink? I'll go drinking with you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> How about uh, we all meet up, we drink, and whoever wants to go shopping can leave the drinking, and who doesn't just drinks. I'll Let's shop go. for more for more beer. For more out. Yeah, exactly. There you, <laughs> you, you, know yeah. What, you know what? At this point in our life, I think we know how to drink just enough to get us to the shopping and then back to the bar. Right. Yeah. Oh, I well like... by this point, I know enough on how to get to the monorail from what park to park. Yeah, that's but you got lost. That, there you, you got, go. That's there you a go. Sauce. That is yes. a skill you can use in life, is getting from Epcot to Magic Kingdom to the Emporium. And I'm dwelling in 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 very short period of time and inebriated. It was one of the funniest things I think that's ever happened on this show. Was Alan we live? Were, we were following along <laughs> live as he was going. Alan, <laughs> I know I've, yeah. I've, I've been trying to fix my hair. It's a mess. Valerie, you are you and James yeah. and the family are more than welcome. Definitely, Valerie, let's go drinking mm -hmm. around yeah. and shopping. Yes, yes. So, so come on. Did you did you break the news to Kim that uh, Disney was going to end its relationship with Spirit Jersey? No, I didn't even hear this. Yeah, you know, there's me? a rumor that that Disney is going to end the yeah. relationship with Spirit Jersey. Mm -hmm. You might want to like, break it to her gently, just like the H two O products. Well, yeah. and it's just going to be like <laughs> oversized sweatshirts now. They're going to cost ten right. dollars more on top of it. On yeah, they're just like knit oh, crew, crew, crew necks. I've got a whole closet of spirit jerseys. I'm very hey, upset right now. Now, you guys now they will now be a collector's item. Yeah. Yes, they will. You'll be like Carrie Bradshaw with them all through your, your house. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this. 
I can do this. I can oh, do this. Oh goodness, where's Professor? Oh, okay, this so um. I, he's well, I'm very I'm happy that he was wearing pants this time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This um this spirit jersey uh, show off is brought to you by dmagicworld.com. Dmagicworld twenty four seven. You put their logo right on magic right as I get yeah, here because oh, you're sponsored. You, you don't Alan, you don't pay the bills, Alan. Go, 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 go. Your ooh, your segment is sponsored. Uh, ooh, Look, see. Uh, ooh, uh, Those are very nice. Hold on, let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna. Solo layout. There you yeah. go. For those of us listening on the podcast, Alan. For those of us listening on the podcast, Alan is running back and forth like a crazy. Look, look, he is. look at all we're these. Coming, look at we're all coming of back these. Here. Wow. Well, you have look, enough no. then. There's plenty yeah, of yeah, yeah, Alan, that's, a, that's called a problem. So <laughs> many. Yeah. Not only a, a problem, but for me, a person with Alan is having a meltdown. He is. Hey, Jimmy Horn, what's up, my friend? Um, Alan, there. If I were, cannot buy spear jerseys, I am. I, what am I going to wear to there class? Were, there were empty hangers in that pile, which my OCD is going nuts right now. Why would you have empty that, hangers? That tells with, me he's been wearing them. Because I've been wearing them. The oh, I got you. Yes. We got to remove the empty hangers from the closet when you're. My spear jersey is like. You know what? Like, oh, no. They, yeah. At least they want wire hangers, right? <laughs> No, no, no wire hangers. No more wire hangers, right? Don't, don't um, give me shouts and flashbacks, Alan. <laughs> that spirit cool. jersey segment brought to you by dmagicworld.com. Go check out dmagicworld.com. Our friends, twenty four seven streaming Disney music magic. You can also request anything you want to hear from around the parks. Let them know what you want to hear. Jasper will make sure I want they that get that on. Next time. Uh, Aaron, yeah, I, I look, I, I can't even see myself. Nonstop My Disney corner. magic. <laughs> uh, have you guys been tuning in after the holidays to D Magic World? So they've tapered off with the holiday music, and now we're back into the party no, music I, and some I of the parades. Just and... about to say, oh, yep. thank God, the holidays are officially over. Okay, so I not am. a plug, um, but I learned how to play D Magic World. Ooh. He froze. That's never good. Oh, sorry. Hey, froze. You're back. He froze again. Uh oh. It was those spirit jerseys. He broke the internet. He did. He did. <laughs> well, I did. Uh, sorry. There, there, there you go. Um, sorry about that. Somebody was trying to call me at the same time. That's okay. Oh, Tell really? them you're busy. What was I saying? Oh, so I was, um, yeah, no. Not to sound like an older millennial, because I am, but I learned how to play D Magic World on my Alexa recently, which is nice. nice. Um, what, uh, what do you think is like the, your favorite thing to hear on D Magic World? Do you like um, some specific like uh, show uh, attraction music, parade music from the parks? If you guys hear like six Mary Poppins songs in a row, that those was are probably you. me. Okay. So I apologize. Yeah. yeah no, I'll, I'll, I'll play like, of course, my I'll play Feed the Birds Ooh. from like the carousel, which I love. You are that guy at the bar around. with the jukebox yeah. and you put in the same. Oh, that's song. totally me. Hello, we'll be sitting Alice. there and I'll be playing like Spice Girls, Tiffany. That's on. That's me. Oh, nice. I love, I love Tiffany. Hello, Alana Semenov. Hello to you. I see some new people popping in. Hello, hello. Hello, Thank new you. friends. Welcome, Welcome to Disney Night Live. We are, again, streaming all over the place. We just talked about our friends over at D Magic World again. Um, go check them out. And uh, also on Thursdays and Sundays, uh, 2 p.m., they play our shows in full length. So um, let them know that we sent you and you heard about them through us because I think that'll be really cool. And um, nobody's better than dmagicworld.com. Dude, and they play us twice a week. And when I tune in, I'm like, right. wow, we sound like a real radio show. How we cool. do sound like a radio show. I know. We sound like well, we got it together. We are mm. professionals. Okay. Amateur we professionals? Try. Yeah, semi professional. We're professionally amateur. Semi pro professionals. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> just <like> here. <laughs> Alan, you're the most professional. You're Professor Alan. You better bring the pro. Professor. <laughs> Kim Alan. says she just shows up to see Skipper J in his hat. I know. He's kind of like our own. Like, who was the guy that owned um, that uh, the magazine, the, the the naked women in the magazine? Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. He was like our very own Hugh Hefner. Look at this guy. 
<laughs> we have our very own Jungle Cruise Hefner. Oh, my <laughs> own, yeah. You know, I will totally take that. I will be the, I will be the half of this podcast. <laughs> you are. You are. They oh <laughs> no, so now we've got hit my pipe. <laughs> I don't Welcome know. to Jurassic Park. I was gonna say, are we yeah. are we going Dr. to Jurassic Park or we're gonna Alan eat Gibber with some faza beans? <laughs> <laughs> and I will be Dr. Allen pretty soon. Two more years. You will be. Hey. Yeah. Dr. Allen. That's all I'm ever gonna call you after that. Just just in mm, public, yes. like, hey Dr. Allen, what's up, Dr. Oh, so so Dr. Allen, come over here. Are you kidding? I'm gonna so, have him paged wherever he goes. Uh, Dr. Dr. Allen yeah. to the courtesy phone. Not gonna lie, I already changed my my Disney experience to Alan Babier's Lyra PhD, just in case they decide to give me like an upgrade here or there. hasn't right. her, has, hasn't it's happened not yet. Happen. Not it's yet. Not no, happen. it just hasn't happened it. yet. Just in case, exactly. Just in sure. case. I'm so you're, you're that, you're you're that, that person. That, you're, so. you're that person that goes. Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't spend four years in school not to be called doctor. <laughs> Sir, this is Applebee's. Uh, it depends. Yeah. It, it depends if I like the person or not. Y'all, no, every, all of you guys will still be Alan. Um, no, everybody else. If I don't like you, it'll be Doctor Babiars Lira. Thank you. Oh wow, that, not well, even yeah. Doctor Alan. It'll be Doctor Babiars Lira. I I had a customer out in the Hamptons that insisted upon being called Doctor. Um, he was a veterinarian. It's do it's an animal doctor. Yeah, I know, yeah. but. He insisted on being addressed as doctor. I would have called him Doc. I would have said, what's Fun up, Doc? Can we rock? Fun fact about Disney vets is they all hate being called doctor. And they'd rather you oh, just really? call them by their name. Yes. Really? <laughs> they just want to be called by their normal name. Yeah. That's, just, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. They don't like it. Fun fact. I, 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 I would have been like, call I me loved, doctor. I loved watching the Animal Kingdom show where they showed all the behind the scenes and stuff. Oh, my God. It's called. terrific. Behind oh, this, be, 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 uh, magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Be, yes, thank you. Yes. So, not so that you Aaron, would know you or really anything, have... right? <laughs> well, I mean, you, Why you get to... that episode because they don't know what real a real star is. What real talent? Everyone is. else, right? Because mm -hmm. when you had the little yeah. cut letter box, when you were like doing this, I was like, Dude, they're you saving like him for ball. season three, Jay. Season three. They and need him. Besides, they need they him to show. He, you know. Aaron's very humble. He didn't want to break the internet, you know, being on, you know, next thing you know, poof, bandwidth goes true. back. That would be, then it would no longer be the magic of Animal Kingdom. It would be the magic of Animal Aaron. And we'd have, you know, so we yes, have a big yes. issue. On Nat, a whole new Nat show. Geo would not know yeah. what to do with themselves. They would not know what to do. Nope. Nope. Yeah. I know. Um, next time, next I love. Uh, yeah, I, I lo absolutely love that show. I'm not lying. I'm not just saying it because you work there and Animal Kingdom. Uh, I think my son just had like some giant screaming fit upstairs. Um, but you get to actually uh, hang out and you're friends with, and you come in contact with some of the people that are on the show, like some of the people that they really uh, have focused some of the episodes on. Um, oh yeah, so that's, a lot that's of pretty neat. Yeah, a lot of them are my coworkers, and then other yeah. people I see around the park from our segments that we've had in the first two seasons. Um, right. And then I'm like friends with some of the vets um, that are there because I've done like ride out crew with them for like Hurricane Ian. So I wow. know a lot of people in the park, but they're yeah. awesome, awesome cast members. Mm. And it shows I on think, the show. I think Aaron is training one of the one of his birds to swoop and smack me in the back of the head. Because the last time I was watching the show, I was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> yeah. You were a little yeah. close. Yeah, you got too close. You get the... Aaron is actually training some of the birds when we get there um, at the end of the March. And uh, we're going to be there in April. Um, he's training some of the birds. They're going to actually fly like they normally do, but they'll be carrying a banner that says Disney Night Live. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be cool. Part of the land, yeah, on my shoulders. You put a crown upon your head, and then and I will say, "Come to me, Elvis. my friends." <laughs> <laughs> they put the Elvis cape on you. <laughs> yeah, my feathered friends, and then we'll go play. We'll go play. Um, uh, what was that game with the birds where you shot the birds? But season two, Rio. That's what we'll do. That, uh, oh, 
Angry oh, Birds. Oh, um, Angry Birds. Angry Birds. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I was going all the way back to Duck Hunt. That's that's how. Oh far wow, back. Duck Hunt. I love Duck, yeah. Hunt. Duck Hunt. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. guys love Duck Hunt, but we actually played Duck Hunt when it first came out. Oh, so I did something mm. fun this week or last week. Last week, last week. about it. Last it week. went uh, right now in Chicago. So if you are anywhere in the Midwest right now, uh, they are doing the Disney 100 exhibit that was in Philadelphia. Okay. It's now in Chicago for, for the oh. time being. And we got to go and uh, we had a blast. It was really cool. They had beautiful, fun, um, you know, exhibits. And and uh, they brought a lot of stuff out from the archives uh, if you guys remember old Hollywood studios, the great movie ride, mm. they had Mary Poppins horse in there. Mm -hmm. um, and that horse was in this exhibit and they had some great um, old theme park uh, memorabilia. They had ride vehicles from uh, Disneyland and Walt Disney world and some old pieces from Mr. Toad from Disney world, which I was very wow. sad because I miss Mr. Toad. Yeah. Um, I love Mr. Toad. And, you know, it was it was just a really nice exhibit. Um, it doesn't take too, too long. Yeah, Mr. Toad. There's my buddy, Mr. Toad, right there. Oh. Um, but, yeah, no. So if you are in the Midwest, you know, close to Chicago and can take a quick ride up or something. Sheboygan. Check, check it out. Again, Sheboygan is around here. I don't know where Sheboygan. exactly, but it is around here. <laughs> you know how I know? I only know because of John Candy and I forgetting what movie it was. Where he uh, says it, Home Alone. Was yes. it Home Alone? Yeah. Shemoyan, yeah. Um, it's the first one. The first yes. one, right? The, while yeah, they're while they're, they're driving in the truck. And mm -hmm. the he, they're the polk of it, the polk yep. group, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So kiss yeah, no, polka. the the Disney 100 <laughs> archives exhibit was fun. <laughs> Sorry. It's a good movie. AKA, AKA gives me polka polka Um <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like fun. I'm looking across my my basement on a on a couch. We have a Disney 100 um, pillow that Kim brought. I think she got it the last time we were there, or yeah, I think it was on her last visit. Or yeah, I can't remember. Probably good yeah. question, but is the hundred over? I can't tell. It's been 86 years. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. Is is um, it going? So I think we still have six more months. I, I think it's like of, the of 100. I think it, it, it kind of feels months. like it peaks now. It's it's like it feels like it's over. I, well, we are definitely on the on the downhill, I feel. Right. Because I'm already merchandise it's getting marked down. Because the, the 50th was 18 months they celebrated. Right. And I think the 100th, they were celebrating 18. So we should be in our final like six months because it's been about a year now. So when it's, it's over, no, we it's go it's straight to Disneyland 70. Yeah, probably because didn't we go into the fiftieth with the thirtieth somewhere? Yeah. Wasn't there one uh, of Paris. Paris, Paris thirty, then Disney World fifty, then a hundred years of Disney, and now right, we'll go Disneyland into something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, one of the things that's getting a change at Disney World is Country Bears Jamboree, uh, scheduled in twenty twenty four. Is a is a can we call it a refresh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, a refresh. So yeah. you guys are saying sad automatically. Um, we're going to have a new twist on Country Bears, right? Yes. You, you yeah. know what I'm sad about is Cheers. at least the songs fit into the whole country show, the, the, the Jamboree. Making it all Disney songs feels a little cheap. Hmm. It takes the creativity out. It's, it makes it, um, I don't know, it kind of breaks the wall in a way. Those songs actually felt very real the last 50 years. And when they start busting out their necessities, I, I'm, I'm going to roll my eyes just a teeny tiny bit. Well, what's great is that most of the old songs were actual country songs. Yeah. So right. they just redid them themselves. Like, right. my favorite song is Cheer, uh, Tears Will Be Your Chaser for Your Wine. And I prefer the country bear version um, versus the actual country song. Same. I, I actually have Mama Don't Look Little Buford in my phone because of so good. The country bears. Yeah, wasn't there like blood in your blood in your what? No, blood, blood, blood on, on your saddle. saddle. There was blood, blood on, on your saddle. saddle. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't hey, know, Ariel, just, how are you, buddy? Making it Disney songs just kind of, 
I don't know. It, it kind of downgrades the experience. It feels just yeah. a little bit lazy. Yeah. It definitely needs to be cleaned because I had the feeling I was staying at like an old Motel 6 or something. So I, it was a little... It was a hey, little just dusty. because there was that chalk outline on the floor. Right. At yeah. one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was, but I mean, it was, it was fun. So you know, every they time they upgrade the show, people laugh and cheer and, and sing along. Yeah. If yeah. they upgrade the animatronics and spend the money, right? Which they won't. No. <laughs> I'm trying to go into it with an open mind, Aaron. Yeah. So, don't waste your time. Don it's yellow shoes. <laughs> you, you you know whatever nickel they can save. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm still going into it with an open mind. Hoping that they do the right thing, I'm gonna hope for the best and expect the worst. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen. Sorry. I saw it once and it was cute, but I think adding new stuff to it and doing something new with it will make me go back. Versus, I I may not have gone back. Mm -hmm. So that's I just my. I wonder. It's a personal favorite. Yeah. I, miss I wonder the whole, though. Um, the holiday Sorry, overlay. Ahead, yeah. The holiday, oh, they did overlay? A holiday overlay there? Yeah. yeah. They did the a country Christmas there? overlay. Oh, yeah. yeah. There actually was two overlays. There was also the vacation hoedown. Yeah. So I'm hoping it's not that kind of show. The... What are you, Cat Williams? I, I, I tripped. <laughs> what can you say? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just hoping when they record all this new audio. Okay. A, I'm just happy they're staying, but B, I'm hoping they record several versions they can. Mm. Put in throughout the year. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe, um, maybe not get so, rid of Jody all got of it. the Jody got songs. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so that makes me wonder, buddy, though, is this is yeah. this a Country Bear update coming from that expansion money that they already announced? No. The, or is this? I, I bet you this was already in the books for as soon as fiftieth was over to yeah get it on the book on the calendar. And Raphael, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Kevin would like to know, any idea when Tiana's Bayou Adventure will open? Isn't it sometime later this year, September-ish? I know. My I vote... Um, December? Yeah. My vote is 2025. Oh, Alan I think knows. this year. Oh, for sure. no. uh, Professor yeah. Allen. Yeah, please tell us. It will be on a day. On oh, a day. Oh, my god. On a all right, Allen Day. We have proclaimed today Allen Day. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I, you know, Don may be right, though. They're saying 2024, yep. but but it may be I pushed. So. I yeah. think they're well, pretty if they follow, you know, if they follow the way they've been doing things, Tron. I have to say, Tron took 20 years to finish it. You know what, though? Yeah. I, I will say what I've seen in the last few months. They're moving along on it. It is. They're hauling yeah. on, on this ride. We go now to our reporter on the street, Skipper J. <laughs> He's in the park. So is Don. So you guys. Yeah, Don, uh, Don. I am going it. to Magic Kingdom on Thursday, the 27th. If you, I, oh, I, oh. Um, Thursday, 27th, I'm working. Friday, the 28th, I'm not. Hmm. But I will be in the Magic Kingdom tomorrow. You guys figure that out. Yeah, um, and I'd like to know what our friends in the audience think. And then if you tune in eventually in the future to this as a podcast, we'd also like you to reach out and let us know what you think about the Country Bear update. Um, at least we have some other. Yeah, go ahead. What's that? At least they're staying. I mean, at the end of the day, that's yeah. all I care about. Right, the bear. Physically staying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. God, that gets better with every sip. And then um, Nochicello or whatever it's called. Nochicello. Hello again to everybody tuning in. I see folks on Instagram. I say, hello, Marianne. You guys want to hear a sweet, beautiful, heartwarming story. Um, friend of the Disney group. Uh, now that's Disney and somebody who has and I have been in contact with for a while. She asks me questions and some help for Disney going to the parks and planning. Uh, her name is Marianne. Her and her family love Disney. They've been going to Disney with a large group of friends for a long time. Um, not that long ago, they lost a dear friend uh, who passed away, um, unfortunately and, and very sadly. But um, 
Marianne and her family recently went to Disney World, and she asked me before if she were to give out, um, you know, just give out like little goodie bags to uh, families and, and kids that she came across. Could she, um, you know, mention the group? So I told her yes. And um, a couple people actually posted in the group after she had done that. It said, you know, she was doing that, you know, for their dear friend that passed away. And if if you get this, please post it on now. That's Disney. And several of the people that she came in contact with and brightened their day did post it. And um, I didn't know that's what she was going to do. And then I knew it was her because um, I knew she was there at that time. So. Uh, I thought that was very sweet of her to do. And she made some little kids very happy with, uh, with, you know, little goodie bags and uh, she did pixie dusting. Exactly. So mm -hmm. uh, thank you. And I think that was a very nice way for, for Marianne, Marianne and her family to honor their friend. I did see that very post. Cool. That was very cute. And it was in my yeah. park. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There was, uh, there were several families that, um, that she uh, that she did that with, and they, and and it was just sweet that they actually did go in now. That's Disney, and they shared that. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I know very much so. Thank you. Uh, I, yeah, I you know, Marianne, I think it was very sweet that um, you guys honored her, you know, like that. And um, Disney special to all of us, and it holds a special place in our hearts. So. Um, very nice that you were able to take a trip with your family and do that. And definitely the smiles on those kids' faces, um, you know, is, is very heartwarming. So thank you. Um, what uh, What is our next? Well, I can, now I'm forgetting all my topics. I think we have a Mandalorian movie. Uh, we have farts. We have uh, oh, video days. Yeah. That was all you. That was me. That was yeah. me. Definitely. <laughs> And, and you know, I, I have another one to throw on the docket that we can discuss for like 90 seconds. Yeah, let's do it. I had a sleepless night the other night, so I watched <laughs> all of Echo. And that was a great show. Mm -hmm. I, I started really, Echo. I really enjoyed that. That was a great mm -hmm. story. That's the one where the um, the girl uses ASL, right? Yeah, yeah. she's deaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's Kingpin's daughter, adoptive daughter. And, and she's, she's Native American, and so you got some really great Marvel take on on, on, on that culture the, as best they could. Uh, it was, I, I loved it. What is this, and a Disney Plus vehicle? It's Disney Plus, yeah, it's Marvel. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's on Disney superhero. Plus and Hulu. Okay, yeah. all right. I got mm -hmm. you. I wasn't yeah. even aware. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, she's more of a martial great. martial arts style superhero. It's, so she doesn't really have a lot of big powers, but it's violent, and I'm always I down for a bit of violence. So mm -hmm. very violent. But it's Hello, watch watch it it Monique Lively is watching. Um, thank you for tuning in. So I'll give that a uh, I'll give that a um, a, a, a gander. Who? Yeah, give, um, it yeah, give it a go. Give it a gander. Give it to Gory. <laughs> you give it a chance. You know, if you if you can't get past the first episode, totally understand. But I I really really enjoyed this one. All right, definitely. I have a lot of stuff that I need to catch up in Disney Plus, um, so I've got to dive right in. Disney Don, you're um you're our uh, Disney Disney Good to Go Day expert here. Why don't you tell us? Uh, very recently, there's been some changes right in the park hopping uh, way you can go um, about park hopping and. And good to go days. What is all this? Because it's very okay. confusing. So, Disney, if you remember, while back, uh, if you have an annual pass, you need uh, to make reservations to get to the park. Right. Disney has started with the annual passes, a good to go day um, program. There are random days that Disney feels that the parks are being underutilized or not going to be the capacity. So those days, annual pass holders do not need to make a reservation. Now those days will appear and disappear at, 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 at there's no schedule to them. Okay. Um, 
did you i sent you a picture uh a screenshot of what yeah i didn't like? i i okay. didn't uh unfortunately i so, didn't get a chance to load it but i mean basically yeah. if you go into to look for availability yeah. in a park it it tells it, you it, there the um the it's, dates that are circled with green are the good to go days so you you don't need an annual pass to go on those days okay, okay. so that was the first that's the first thing they just revised the park hopping uh the park hopping um policy you no longer have to wait till two o'clock to start park hopping but you still need other than good to go days you still need a park reservation and you have to scan through the gate at your park reservation before you start hopping okay so let's say you and it's also it goes by capacity if you try to hop into a park that is um already shut down due to capacity you're not going to get in you know oh. they've shut it down already uh of course they, um any hard ticket uh dated tickets um do not need to make reservations any either so if you have length of stay ticket you can go to any parks you know if you're a, a resort guest with length of stay per uh and if if you have you know, of course if you have uh park hopping on that ticket if you buy a single day ticket there it is yes yeah, so i just got to load it yeah if you um if you have a single day ticket and you have park hopping on it you're um you can park hop one of the things um they exempt from the park hopping or the good um of oh, magic kingdom on weekends oh that's right yeah yeah you have to be you know magic kingdom on weekends is, are, are ex sometimes exempt from the park hopping the other right. thing and, the, is, and the good to go days right and, or the yeah. reservation well the, the good uh, i don't think you're going to see any good to go days on weekends right right it's just yeah weekends yeah now another thing is annual pass holders do not need reservations after two o'clock except for magic kingdom on weekends on weekends so right. if after if after two mm. o'clock let's say let's say jay you're an annual pass holder that lives locally and you decide you want to do a dinner date you want to do a date night and and go to you know one of the uh upscale restaurants in a uh, theme park after so he calls don so he calls you don and says don i need a date and then the two of you meet for dinner is that what yes, we're saying hang out. Yeah. yeah well i yes. would never i would never do that to chris but okay <laughs> tell me um when he goes into the system what are the good to go days are they the green dots or the, the ones the, the circle the green the cir circle the ones. one okay. circle but I do see a uh, Sunday I see a on Sunday. there. I do see yeah, a so, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. There's a Sunday. I think on it was there, so... just Magic Kingdom on Saturdays, not Sundays. It, um, I was reading it Saturday and Sunday. Okay. You, know, you can't. You know, yeah. you're not allowed to just show up. But well, you know, they're yeah. starting to roll back some of the COVID restrictions. Can we just get rid of this good to go nonsense and just say reservations are done? I mean. Right? Why are we going through this? This this we're weaning us off of it. I can the see weaning themselves off of it. I yeah, can see probably. giant holidays, but right. if by this point yeah. in the middle of the week, yeah. no. Just, me, I me, I think they are using the information to um they're using the reservation system to figure out their staffing. Yeah. Right. Okay, we don't need you know. We have we have a very light reservation day at Animal Kingdom. Uh, we don't need as many staff in that park for that day. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, I mean, I can see how it's useful uh, for them, but you know, the yeah. the thing I do like is the fact that the park hopping. You know, you can go say you're going to Animal Kingdom uh, on a Tuesday. Um, you can you can go to Animal Kingdom, badge in, and then immediately park hop to another park you no longer have to wait till 2 p.m um that's for just day ticket holders right is that for annual pass holders as well 
Yes, any your pass yes. holders. Yep. Okay, yeah. as well. So well, at, yeah, anybody, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, it, let's say you go to Epcot, you you uh, you badge in, um, and you run to the back of the park, you jump on the gondola, and you head over to Hollywood Studios. Right. Yeah. Or you don't need you a know, boom. You, don't, you can just park up right immediately. Or um, you take the uh, you take the Professor Allen way and you get on the right. uh, monorail and somehow get into the Emporium. Right. Hello to JC and Besmer Hoxa. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Let me, let me ask uh, you guys real quick. Yeah. Though, with, with all the with park and hopping again and all these people back in transit and getting on buses and gondolas and going back and forth, you, you think this is going to alleviate some of the crowd issues right now? I No, I don't think so. Well, at certain parks, like Animal Kingdom, you can definitely see, and I like to hit Animal Kingdom when we go later, because you could see the people walking out of there when park hopping becomes available at other parks. So I think for something like Animal Kingdom, maybe parts <clears throat> of Epcot. Um, I don't know if it's going to work so much for Magic Kingdom or... or you're um, you're or not going to see the two o'clock rush. Right. You know, like... Um, right, right. Because it'll be sudden, staggered. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Right. You know, all of a sudden you're in Hollywood studio and it's now 2.30 and all of a sudden you see a, a new wave of people coming in from a different park yeah yeah right so does now it won't mean, be an all at once thing don i don't know if you saw uh this so say i went to magic and then i bopped over at noon to epcot okay can i try for the one o'clock guardians of the galaxy virtual queue yes so i don't even have to have I can as long as I'm in the park at one o'clock. As long as you're cool. in the park at one o'clock, just also, uh, just like you would use the yeah, you know, try and do the one o'clock um, when they were park hopping into um, Rise of the Resistance. You didn't have to have a park reservation, but you had to be in the park. In the no, park. but what was nice was I don't know if it was nice, but you know you had to be in Epcot that day at one o'clock, and it was before the park park hoppers were there so you had a better shot at getting on guardians yeah. um sorry I've gone to go no you're good i've gone to guardians like gone to epcot after my shift with co-workers and i've gotten on guardians gotten a reservation at like five o'clock really from the one o'clock drop because they still had spots open like it wasn't right. closed so it's I getting think, yeah more. for sure and i think it, it day by day basis of on if that like a little bit of magic would happen, of course, depending on all the things. Right. But hey, Marcos, I'm gonna try an experiment tomorrow Ooh. in Magic Ooh. Kingdom. Okay, and I'm gonna see what um, we're gonna be meeting. Uh, we're gonna be probably going into the Magic Kingdom around 11. I'm gonna try and see what happens when I try and get a Tron. If I get a Tron reservation, see what what time it, the reservation is gonna right. be. Okay, yeah, let us know. Definitely all. Yeah. Um, it's all and very then I want to see your picture Marina. when you write it down. Yeah, definitely your your picture when you write. I want to see you and Marie with the with the bikes. No, Marie, um, I would it. have to knock Marie out and tie her to the bike. Do it. Go ahead, but uh, this time leave your shirt on when you ride it. Okay, okay, because that was weird. <laughs> now they now they now they have new rules. Thanks. Yeah. Jay, you want to talk about some uh, some farts, some festival of the uh, arts? I, I, I'd love to talk about some farting. Um, so, so I just so when does it start? My first question. It's already started. It started. Right. We're already, we're okay. already in it. That's, that's right. Really, that's right. I'm sorry. It's yesterday. really short this year. It yes. uh, only goes till Feb 10th. Yes. Okay, so it is a it's the shortest festival of all the Epcot festivals. Right. Wait, when it's is like it over? Feb 10th, he said, I think. Oh, yeah, I think so. It was uh, only February a month. Tenth, it's done. Oh my like, god! It's only, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's literally a month long, a five week festival ends out. But okay, when I get there well, in March, um, Flower and Garden will be going. Alan, do yeah. you need me to get you a, a popcorn bucket? Yes, please. Okay. okay. Just tell me I'll mobile order it, and you can pick it up. Okay. So they'll have a nice longer dead time in between festivals since this one's short. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. Which I'm mm. guessing yeah, they want to. I'm guessing they want to fine tune the, all, you know, all the new um, 
eating areas, the new concert areas, give the mm. I kick the tires on it before we really get festivals so, in there again this summer. Skipper J, I'll trade you a I'll trade you a Mr. Toad popcorn bucket for a Festival of the Arts popcorn bucket. Dude, I will totally what is the festival, you what's the Festival of the Arts popcorn bucket? It is yeah. the Imagination Pavilion. Right. Yeah, with and, figment inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take you right. take it out. But this and is like the first. This is the first popcorn bucket where even I'm like, oh my god, I want one. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna like, give our viewers just a little hint. Don't spread this around, people. Uh oh. But you can mobile order this from anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. if Jay goes to the park, I can mobile order one from here in Chicago, and he can just pick it up for me. Shaboy. There, he doesn't have to pay or anything. Totally do. Yeah. So, um, but this is there, there's a limit, right? Two per person or something. Yeah. They limit that whole resale thing, which is great. But I saw the lines were insane for the not only the bucket but the merch. Um, this is quickly becoming one of the most popular festivals at Epcot. Uh, well, it is. It's the short, short, but I love well, it. It's the short it's, duration, right? It's the big bit merchandise festival. Let's let's call it what it is. Right. Right. So they're doing the same stuff. There's great food. There's great drinks. There's music. Uh, but there's arts there, right? There's uh, so it's a festival with arts. All kinds of, yeah, all kinds of interesting yes. artists. Um, like I, Craig Stagg, who I know, um, is right. going to be there this year. Um, you can't see it, but I've got um, KJ art right here. He's I think mm -hmm. he's going to be there this year. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Good. Good. Is is yeah. he okay? Is he back? Is he? I haven't seen anything on social media about him. In quiet. Yeah. What's that? I think he's quietly working on a project for somebody. Oh, okay. Well, the last time I had talked to him, he was said he told me he was sick. Yeah. Um, and he had had been in the hospital oh. for a while. So Ooh, well, I think he, I think he's sick. Yeah. Oh. Hope he's okay. Let's send our well wishes to. Um, KJ, who we've had on the show and is a fantastic artist and also yeah. a um, is a very uh, nice person. I've got his Tower of Terror painting right right in front of me. It's what I stare at when I um, sit down at my my desk. This is this is KJ That's right, right back there. Yeah, yeah. That's actually what uh, I made me contact him because I bought the matching Burt piece, but I never got it. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, oh, I'm sick. I'm so sorry. So, and I'm like, oh, yeah. So I, I really want to get a small world one, the, the Polynesian scene. Mm. Jay's got some uh, some photos here. Jay, do you want to? Yes, um, I, uh, I will bring them up because I decided I'm not really wild about the first one after all. Um, well, let's look at it. Tell me okay. what you. Uh... So, this, this is the uh, skirt steak with mushrooms. Yes, I want it. Yes. Um, yes if please. I can get it with. If I can get it without the mushrooms, I'm down. It looks delicious. Really? Uh, yeah, I got to think about mushrooms, man. They're gross. Really? I got. I got the think. fungus. Think. Is it the fungus, fungus part? It's, it's fungus. Really? I had fresh ones, and I'm I'm like freaked out like fungus ever since. Yeah, I um, I would love to have some sautéed mushrooms on there. That looks delicious, and I think that's exactly like yeah, the perfect thing. It, it looks so. really good, and they say it's right? really really tender. And I want to say thank you to Disney Food Blog because I was lazy, yes. and all my pictures came from Disney Food Blog. Well, Disney Food <laughs> Blog is another amazing uh, outlet uh, who I spend a lot of time watching, along with All Ears. Um, so thank you. Um, we're using some of your photos, so photo credit. Uh, and a lot of credit to Disney Food Blog. Thank you so much, yeah. Disney Food Blog. So I'm going to try to roll through these because we're at 52. Yeah. Um, next one is the grilled pork belly, 675. Mm -hmm. And here it has a just filler flavor profile. Yeah. Is that broccoli or Rob? <coughs> sure. Is it? I didn't get notes on that one because I was in a oh, hurry, okay? okay? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it looks like broccoli arab, which is. Dude, I did. Uh, I did my homework at the last minute tonight. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. It looks good to me. I love. I love me some pork belly. It looks like there's some cheese on there. Uh, ooh. <coughs> this one looks like something out of Galaxy's Edge, but the the salmon fumé mousse for seven ninety five. I love. I love salmon. And this one, uh, 
This has got a very soft, light, creamy texture. It's a it's, salmon uh, mousse? Yeah. And it tastes like buttery salmon. Oh, uh, yeah? Weird. Ah, I don't know. I might try it. It's like salmon I mean, the dessert, but I'm 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 all right. I'm all on board. If, you tell me if butter? it's not a, a fishy a fishy taste, I'll definitely try that. Uh, Kim wants to know: Is that blue cheese? I don't think that like, that's salmon. Is that blue cheese on the bottom, Kim? Or you were talking about the picture before? No, that's the pastry part. Oh, that's the pastry, the puff, the, like a pastry, not a puff pastry. Gotcha. Yeah. So this one needs no introduction. It is the tomato soup. With pimento cheese and a fried oh, green tomato sandwich. Yeah, I think that they had this last year. Oh, so good. Right? I had that last year. Yes. So yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it's and it's only six fifty. I mean, it's a really good price. It looks good. It's delicious. I, it's, I don't it's, like tomatoes, but I'll eat fried green tomato and I'll eat that sandwich. I tell you that much. With Dave, you soup. you would you would really hey, like it. Yeah, looks good. And, oh, the, and the, the soup can is adorable. And you can keep it. You can take it home. Right. Bring it home. Make your own soup in it. Use it as a pencil cap on your desk. Right. Uh, so next up, we have the deconstructed BLT, which is only seven twenty-five. dollars It's pork belly, onion bread pudding, watercress, and tomato jam. And uh, this is my jam. I would be – I. this is a comfort food. I'm – Going to have this in the next week. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, you know, the deconstructed constructed thing still cracks me up because, but I know it's the Festival of the Arts and they're getting artsy with the food. So it's I fun. get what they're doing. Right. It's fun. It's fun. And if it tastes good, I don't care. Uh, I, I'm going to eat it. So, yeah, I would definitely throw down on that one. Hello to uh, Disney Obsessed Justin on Instagram. Um and hello Just, to uh, Brian over here. Yes, on, Brian. Uh, Brian Rica yeah. is my my student, my buddy. And, hey, Brian. Uh, his, his trip is going to actually overlap my trip this March, which is exciting. Oh, nice. Oh. And Kim said no. She was talking about the beef sandwich. Kim, I think that I don't know if that was blue cheese on that beef sandwich, um, but it looked good. It did, it did look good. This looks like a bat. It uh, it, this one looks really cool. This is this this tops my number five. It is the cast iron roasted mussels with sauteed yes. tomatoes. Oh, garlic love that. fresh herbs, and it's only eight bucks. It's only eight dollars, and this is a dish you you can share. The prices are actually pretty cheap for Festival of the Arts. Yeah. Um, we got all the mussels you need right here. You know. <laughs> I love these yeah. festivals because they have a perfect diet. Just wander, eat, drink, nibble, listen to right. music. Cool. Kim would love the mussels. She's exactly. kind of turned me on to mussels. It's kind. Of, it was like the Grateful Dead. I didn't like the Grateful Dead. Now I love the Grateful Dead. And little by little, every summer yeah, on our what vacation, period, what, period, like, what period though? What period? She's like all of the dead. All of okay. it now. Yeah. Now not, she'll just walk out onto the deck in the summertime and there I am drinking my beer, listening to the dead. And she's like, you put this on. So yeah, now I eat mussels. I, uh, I had to teach my neighbors in the complex this week who the, <laughs> finally after all these months, I had to teach them who the king of playing loud music is. Right. Cause I yeah. had it coming next door. I had it coming downstairs and I was like, kids, I brought the LBC to the FB. So watch out. That's right. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with Skipper J. I brought my records, my my good amp, my good speakers, yeah. and these walls are concrete, but I made them shake. He's going to bring that jungle fever to you. Don't mess with <laughs> Skipper J. Okay. He's good, hanging out with stuff. malaria when he's done with you, neighbors. I got the good right. stuff, so, yeah. you know. I Not to malaria, stuff. Dave. Not malaria. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, Alan. They're going to get what's Nile. <laughs> the, West Nile. <laughs> the uh the greatest station on pandora by the way is the nina simone uh station we oh. i can put that on and i do not need to turn it off the entire day um terrific but um we uh we also need to discuss quickly the mandalorian movie right so we talked about it earlier but I know nothing about it. When is this coming out? What is do we? What do we do? We have apparently it the rumor is once all, all the shows are going to meet up, and it's the the movie's going to be the finale for all of the TV shows going 
running right now. Book of hmm. Boba Fett, Ahsoka, Mandalorian. Um, okay, so this is going to be the movie. It's all they're all going to yeah, the movie's like... going to be the finale. So hmm, you'll have to go to big screen to see the the last episode, basically. Wait, so you're saying that the series, the the Book of Boba Fett, everything that'll be done after this movie? Yeah, it's all coming only... to an end, and this is the the big yeah. ending. But we only got one season of uh, Book of Boba Fett, right? I hope it comes back in some form because I, I don't know about you guys, but I really I like Book think, of Boba Fett. I loved it. Yeah, I think Book of Boba Fett's getting another season before this. Okay. From, from Bounty yeah. Hunter to Samurai, I'm I'm on board. And then well, um is this gonna this is not gonna be inclusive of, of Ahsoka? Uh yes. Really? Yes. I thought this uh, Ahsoka's not on a different timeline. Yeah, it's no. not a different Ahsoka, Disney... Ahsoka's happening the same time as Mando. Oh really? Hmm. Yeah, but dude, in she, what they just dude, released up on Mando. was just an announcement. So I don't think they have anything put right. together for this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. No. It's, it's probably going to be a, a few we years have, before. But we, we trust in Dave Filoni, though. We trust in... in yeah, in, it's, it's not coming yeah. to an end anytime soon. But mm -hmm. when, when it does, they're going to go out with this big bang. So I'm, I'm here Ooh. for it. And at the rate yeah. John Favreau writes, it's going to be at least another like 15 years, I swear. I love John Favreau. Though. I'm I'm all over this comment. Dave Filoni's movie guy. will be an adaptation of *Air of the Empire*. Dude, that was a, in the in the '90s when there was *Star Wars*. It was like the *Star Wars* desert. There was nothing. Yeah, we got these he's three got a, books. He's got a three big range. Books in the '90s. He did *Elf*. Uh, I mean, if you uh, *Swingers* was was a great movie. Um, you know, um, but yeah, I, you know, when I, I still think about him making *Elf*. Like it's just so different than all the other stuff, yeah. and then he dived into all of these things that we're watching. Uh, but he's also funny. He was in Four Christmases. Have you ever seen that with Vince Vaughn yeah. and Reese Witherspoon? He plays his uh, Vince Vaughn's brother, and his his character is classic. We did love Boba Fett, Kim. I love yes. Ahsoka. I love Mando. We, we, we have a comment set that asks, "So no more shows? I think no more shows. No more shows set in the post Return of the Jedi timeline." I, okay. I, I don't think they're going to let shows go. If they move into another era, man, I don't want some Clone Wars series. How cool would right. that be? Live and then you've all, well, Clone Wars. We only had the one series of the Obi Wan, which. Yeah. Um, well, we didn't need another season of Obi Wan. That's okay. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was awful. I wanted to strangle Princess Leia so bad. Yeah. The little girl. I don't, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. We did not need a second season of Obi Wan. Yeah, I, I wasn't too thrilled about it to be honest with you. It wasn't my favorite. I I, I, I enjoyed it, dude. Then that that, yeah. that 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 final episode where they're just banging at each other and just psychologically abusing each other. I I was there for that. I love that, that, that in my life. I yeah, love the band pain going on. on. One episode out of the ten or whatever it was, like it didn't, it didn't do yeah. it for me. Right? Yeah, I I kind of agree with you, Alan. It's definitely not. It's the lowest out of all of them for me. It's a no for me, dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Jay, who was the Diz idiot of the week? I forgot because you had oh, shared something God. earlier. So this this week's Diz idiot, um, an elderly couple in their seventies. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, got put, got got put in handcuffs because they got handsy with someone at the Magic Kingdom over uh, parade viewing. Was it Festival is, of the of Fantasy? Yeah, is is yeah. it not time to chill out when it comes to parades, people? Yeah, um, can we do what they do in Japan? You are in your seventies and down. you're willing to put yourself behind bars because Just you got to have an up front with Bell. Yeah, seriously. You guys need to chill yourself out. Just take a seat, you know, pull out your um uh your uh your little mat for the manage ground. your Disney expectations. There is right. no excuse for this, and I hope they had a scary night in jail, honestly. No, you're never too old to be walked out in handcuffs, I tell you that. They don't care. The law don't care when the law comes for you. It when you're when you're you. willing to get purple off for Mickey Mouse, man. That's right. So uh, that's yeah. a level as a seriously. Well, that's very sad. Uh, Don, you're um, muted. Don, you're muted. 
Yeah, there you go, it, was one, it was one of those cases where um, two, you know, the elderly couple were, were no, we're saving this whole area for our family. You can't share it. You can't say yeah, that. No, no. But that, yeah. and, the, and the lady said, and they said, no, you can't sit here. And right. they were they kicked her and uh, pulled her hair to try and get her right. to move we, out of the can way. Can we save this comment right here? Just save this for the whole time. No, <laughs> so, uh, uh, you already <laughs> know everyone agrees with I, that. I don't <laughs> care what we're talking about. I just want that comment to pop up every time I talk. All right, you know. All right, here I have something I'm going to do for you while you guys are talking. I just that that is. What is your expectation? of a parade is this is this is this going entertainment piece going to make or break your day they're not real that's not really the princesses it's teenagers in costumes yeah you can chill out when it comes to parades no but you don't understand this is going to be the perfect visit for my family and we're going to take up this whole curb right here you know i got 35 feet of this curb saved for my family you know what and yes there's great action on the ground with the dancing and the characters but 75 percent of it is up here on the floats Mm -hmm. you're looking Mm -hmm. and you know the ground ground is the thing on the things and yeah no, yeah, we should just have that as a scrolling bander. I don't even, I don't even need to say anything anymore. I'll just pull it up. Yeah, if Alan says something. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I don't No more comments. That's uh, funny. Uh, uh, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we need to open Alan Land. See, it just works. It always works. Alan Land. Alan Land. Alan Land. Yes. We talked about this okay. before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we, uh, Alan, I did not do that. That was not me. Um, Yay. <laughs> we, um, I know we, who that was. No. It's staying up, baby. It's staying up until we're, it's staying up to the credits. Kim, Kim Kim had a little bit of an issue with a woman who was very entitled. Uh, Colton, and I, she talked this story and real quick. Colton and I went to go get some Dole Whip, and she was sitting, you know, for um, uh, Festival of the Fantasy, and the woman tried to come in and infringe on her space uh, because her daughter was going to be more important than us. You know what I mean? Like, so Kim's like, well, you know, my husband and son just went to get a Dole Whip. They're coming back too. So, you know. Nobody's more important than the other. Um, and this is why we have fights. I mean, you now have mean streets of fantasy land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. Well, we covered a lot of ground tonight, and I think it was not only fun, but again, informative. Um, you know, and that's what we try to do here. I think we covered all of our topics. I'm pretty sure. I can't I think really we did. remember I think at this uh, point. My, my mother we did wants- them all tonight. Just so you know, my mother just texted me and she said she wants yeah. her own land within Allen Land. I don't know if I can make this happen. Allen's mom land in Allen Land? She does. And you know what? I will make sure that happens. I'm just going to say you no. Can't have... Well, then it would need to be Allen World with well, Alan's, Alan, Alan's kingdom. Just right. like the Magic Kingdom, we have Allen yeah. Kingdom. And then there will yeah. be mom land within Allen Kingdom. Yeah, well, you can still have, have land the land. land. Yes, you can, because Disneyland yeah. has other lands oh, in the land. Have. You're right, you're right. Hey, you know what? Thank True. you. Yeah, Aaron, that hey, Aaron, the voice of reason. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> no, we could we could just no. we could just change a couple letters on that. We'll just change it. That's the only one I had available, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lily says, enjoy the show tonight. Thank you, Lily. We enjoyed having you. We enjoyed um, everybody who tuned in. As always, it's it's always a great Saturday night, a lot of fun. I thank my co-host again just so much for taking time out of their life on a Saturday to be here, um, for, for giving it their all. And um, we're going to be back next Saturday, I believe, with a new topic. Hey. Who knows what it is? You know. We'll can we out. do? Can we do our, our our Universal Studios episode? I'm really I'm next really Saturday. So then, right now. yeah. So let's do it next Saturday. So we'll spend the week planning, and we will have our our Epic Universal universe. Epic universe. Right. Yeah. Um, was, I'm 
Oh, this yeah. is going to be fun. Yeah. Yep. So well, that'll be our show next week. Um, for here, we have a uh, uh, an outro that we're going to play for you. And uh, come back next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to D-Magic World, our sponsor, and anyone hearing us on a future podcast. Um, so have a good night, everybody. I will click the outro. Alan's.